With your CIG TV News Update, I'm Jay Earhart, in for Donna Bush. In today's top story, the government officials met yesterday to discuss the contingency plans for the chikungunya virus. The Public Health Department organized the meeting of various stakeholders at the Georgetown Hospital. Those present included staff from the Health Services Authority, Mosquito Research and Control Unit, Environmental Health, Customs, Agriculture, and Tourism. The Ministries of Health and Tourism, the Airports Authority, and Hazard Management Cayman Islands were also in attendance. Discussions ranged from existing preparedness and control measures to testing protocols, advanced planning for an outbreak, and international cooperation. Participants also discussed staff and public education, as well as how stakeholders would communicate going forward. The Cayman Islands first confirmed case of imported chikungunya earlier this week. Officials are urging travelers to see a doctor at once if they experience joint pains, fever, and vomiting within two weeks of returning. And as a preventative measure, everyone is asked to remove anything that might hold standing water from around their homes. More than two dozen countries in the region have reported cases of the viral mosquito-borne illness. Local artist Davin Ebanks, prize-winning sculpture adjacent, now sits outside the National Gallery. Last night, Mr. Ebanks gave a special presentation for members of the public at the gallery's auditorium. The artist, who is a first degree in graphic design, spoke at length about what drew him towards a career in art. He also outlined his progression to date in the art of glass sculpting. Mr. Ebanks ended with a discussion, the thought process and behind the scenes and preparation that went into making that sculpture. He explained that the piece reflects cat boat builders' practice of making models to test their designs. They would then scale up the successful model, cut it in two, and present half to the person who had commissioned the boat. Mr. Ebanks is an artist in residence at Anderson University in the United States, and adjacent was the winning entry in the recent National Public Art Competition. The sponsor, Cayman Water Authority, founded the creation of the work. Finally, the Cayman Islands Scout Association is hosting a visit from its United Kingdom counterpart. Commissioner for the UK Scout Association, Nigel Haley, met with the Governor, Her Excellency Helen Kilpatrick, who is also the island's Chief Scout. Executive Commissioner Winston Hale and Scout's Chief Commissioner, Ward Connor, were also at the present for the meeting. Mr. Haley is responsible for liaising with all branches within the Scout Association. He's also responsible for the appointment of branch chief commissioners and local chief scouts. And as always, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook and YouTube pages. And of course, don't forget to tune in to Radio Cayman's Talk Today show, which is always packed full of exciting guests. I'm Jay Earhart. Thanks for watching.